Several communities came together today to mourn a fallen hero. James Jimmy Scanlon died in the line of duty on November 4th. He was a Hopkins firefighter for 14 years and also worked with Hopkins and Bloomington Police. As Reg Chapman shares, his comrades from all those departments came together today to celebrate his life and service to community. Main Street Hopkins flanked with police squads, fire engines and trucks in honor of a man who served his community well. We're really impressed and for all the community of Minnetonka, Hopkins, Bloomington, the state and everybody to show up and show their respects to, to the, the family. family. Jerry Zielinski and his wife Kathy felt they needed to honor the man who served in both police and fire service. We live in Minnetonka and we just wanted to come and support the community and the family. Inside the Hopkins Center for the Arts tributes to Jimmy Scanlon's commitment to family and serving community. Jim had a way of making work fun no matter what was happening. We always laughed a lot when Jim was around. If something needed fixing, the answer was to call Jimmy. Whatever project he was given, we knew it would be handled and handled well. Scanlon made friends in every department and many firehouses and police stations across the area. His wit, jokes, and all-around love for serving community will be missed. Jimmy will be deeply missed at the firehouse. He did so much that we have to pick up the pieces for and move the department forward as he would have wished. We're all lucky to have him in our lives, and the world has a, is a better place because of Jimmy was in it. While bagpipes played Amazing Grace, many reflected on this community servant's impact on every person and every community he encountered. To Chief Jim Jimmy Scanlon, who selflessly lived his life for the good of his fellow man, his tasks completed, his duties well done, to our comrade, <clears throat> his last alarm, where at last he's going home. You will never be forgotten. In Hopkins. Hopkins Chief 3 is clear at 1209. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. According to the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation, Scanlon's death is classified as a line of duty death. He leaves behind his wife, Kat, and four children who range in ages from 4 to 17.